Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I am kicking off all of my update videos by going through and showing you guys all of the different weapons that got added to the game and then we are going to be going over all the different armors that got added to the game in the next video. So let's start off with the first melee weapons, then we're going to hit magic weapons, then we're going to get hit ranged weapons, and then we're finally going to end with shields. I thought this was going to be a really good one, but no, I'm not leaving my face cam on for this, but let's get in there and let's start taking a look so the first one we're going to start with guys is a fire ant club this is just the same as the standard ant club that we got so here's the red ant club it looks pretty cool the fire ant club is just a darker variant of it and does some more damage has some more stun and has a a a skill called crit days it takes four fire ant parts two pupa leather and two fire ant mandibles in order to make this but all in all it's pretty cool this weapon is a two-handed weapon and through the upgrading using the smithing station it actually can be anything it wants to be and when i say that i mean spicy salty fresh or sour or even mighty depending on what path you want to go down with upgrading this weapon the next one we're going to talk about is the tick mutt the tick sword i don't know how to pronounce that i'm sorry but this tick sword it's a one-handed sword it's really really fast it's an extraordinarily fast weapon and it's like a tier three lifesteal weapon so we have a tiger mosquito rape here as well that does lifesteal but this thing does a little bit more damage but it doesn't stun at all it says it's a violent bat crafted from tick fangs but it's a one-handed weapon it looks amazing in my opinion i really like how fast it is and this one can also go ahead and be upgraded and go down any path you so choose whether that's mighty fresh salty spicy or sour depending on what path you want to go down in order to make this one you need 10 tick fangs three lint rope one pine cone piece and three mosquito blood sacks more on pine cone pieces in another video moving on we're going to go up to this one this is the scythe of the blossom so this is this scythe is really 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 cool in my opinion it is a two-handed weapon but it's the scythe of blossoms it takes two mantis claws four mantis chunks five pupil leather five rust and five lint rope in order to make it a nimble and deadly scythe crafted from mantis chunks and mantis claws of a fallen assassin gives you that crit hit chance the damage is really powerful it's a really neat looking weapon it's actually pretty quick in in retrospect compared to other weapons that we have that are two-handed and it can also be upgraded going down into any of the paths that you want to follow it down. It's not like the Coltana that requires you to be going down a certain path. Okay, so the next one we're going to be looking at is the Toenail Scimitar. Probably one of my new favorite looking weapon in the game. It looks absolutely amazing. This weapon is a one-handed sword slashing weapon that's here that you can make. It requires 10 toenails, 3 lint rope, 2 pupa hides, and 3 three rust more about toenails in another video a swift and serious and noble weapon forged from uniquely sharp serrated toenail clippings wrapped in a luxurious material as lint rope and pupa hides with an accent made from brittle deadly rust so it's a very very cool weapon i think it looks fantastic its speed is crazy and it even has the infection perk so when you're actually wearing that it doesn't exactly tell me what that is but i'm assuming it has something to do with some sort of damage over time moving on we have the widow dagger this is a revamp of the spider dagger the spider fang dagger this one is even more powerful than your standard spider fang dagger does double the damage and is used a black widow fang in order to make it also uses some super spider venom and lint rope and gives you poison but it gives you more poison than your standard spider fang dagger so that's that one once again can go down any upgrade path you so want it to whatever one you want Okay, moving on now, we have the sour... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Let's start with this rusty spear. This is the tier three spear, a request from a lot of people, and we now have it. It is a tier three spear using dust mite, fuzz, rust, and shrunken bone or sunken bones. 
a bacterially infectious spear crafted from sharp flakes of rust. This is an infection spear. It's really cool looking. I think that it's fantastic. It's got a decent speed to it as well. Same as the trident and the pebblet spear as well, respectively. But it's really cool. And once again, it also can be upgraded going down any path you want it to as well. This one takes all of these items in order to make and is out there for all of you people who love to have a tier 3 spear. Now this one is now my second favorite looking weapon in the game. It is the Sour Battle Axe. It is a whole new weapon that was brought into the game. I think it looks fantastic. It's a shockingly deadly axe that's larger than necessary, packing the jolting power of wormhole sour candies. This is a new sour candy that got added to the game. More on that location in another video as well. This is just an overview of the weapons. But we now have sour globs, shield green, shield bug parts, and tough gunk in order to make this one. The damage and stun are up there, and it comes with sour damage on it already, like the coltana, like the fresh, the mint mace, and like the club of the mother demon which goes down the mighty path this one goes down the sour path for us and it can only be upgraded going down mighty so there you guys go there is that weapon fantastic weapon to come to the game and final to wrap up the melee weapons we have the tiger mosquito needle for those of you who love using the mosquito needle we got an upgraded mosquito needle this one takes all sorts of new things two tiger mosquito beaks four rust and four mosquito blood sacks in order to make this gives you life steal just like the well, just like the Tick Sword and the regular Mosquito Needle, just a little bit more. A rapier fashioned out of an even deadlier Mosquito. Nonetheless, still a really, really cool weapon. I think it looks fantastic, and I think that you guys are really going to like this one if you guys like the Mosquito Needle. Now, moving on are three weapons that I am absolutely head over heels 100% in love with. I absolutely adore that they added these weapons to the game. Yes, they brought magic to to grounded. Now, does that mean that there's going to be a ton of magic all over the place? No, but they did bring magic to grounded and I'm super excited about it. If you guys want to unlock these, head over to the wood pile and get the burgle chip that's over there to unlock these ones, guys. Trust me, you're going to like them. But let's start off with the awesome um the awesome mint staff, shall we? All right. So, first of all, if you guys want to use it, it's pretty much like using a standard weapon. It does a spell whenever you click and hold it and it just goes and goes and goes and goes the mint staff does this one's really really cool if you guys want to be able to craft this one for yourself you got to go down to range and they're actually under here the mint staff is a staff made of ice caps fresh mints crafted by forbidden chemistry and our arcane science mimics the effects of magic spells found in minotaurs and myrmidons it takes five mint globs five pine comb pieces five tough gunk and five crow feather pieces okay so that is that one now going on here we do have the awesome spicy staff now the spicy staff goes ahead and shoots out explosions but you can click and hold this one to really power up a massive explosion and then let it out and it's going to be a huge explosion here we'll try to blow up right over here for us. so here we'll go with one then i'll sit here and really hold it down until it can't go any further and we're gonna let it go and boom it literally destroyed everything that i just worked so hard to be able to build for us Okay, so now that we're back here and we haven't destroyed everything that I've just built, we're going to go up and we are going to look at the Sour Staff. Now, the Sour Staff, once again, also has an ability, but this one looks like it's almost like an electric ability that goes out and is going to zap things as it goes. It also has a charge ability that you can go ahead and release, which looks like a stronger electric blast. Guys, in order to make these two stabs, it's going to be just around the exact same thing as you you are going to need for the ice mint staff but for the spicy staff you need spicy globs and fire ant mandibles and for the sour staff you're going to need sour globs and pond moss so it's out there this one is crafted by forgetting chemistry it makes wormhole it's used using wormhole sour candy and the spicy staff is using hot cha-cha's spicy candy so that is the stabs that got added to the game now we do have a new crossbow guys and that is the black ox 
Deluxe Crossbow. This crossbow is a new crossbow that was added to the game. It is more deadly than the Crow Crossbow. It has about a block and a half more damage to it. It uses rust, black ox parts, lint rope, and pine cone pieces. It's an impossibly strong black ox part made crossbow, and it's really, really cool. It can fire any of the arrows we have. Speaking of new arrows, we have going through, we have super venom arrows, we have bomb arrows, and we have sour arrows now. So those are our new arrows that got out of the game. They're really, really cool, and I can't wait to explore them even more. Now, let's go through and let's talk the final of the two things that we have here, and that is uh, shields. We have two new shields that got added to the game that I think are really, really cool. The first being the fire ant shield that you guys can see here an exotic shield made of fire ant parts requires two fire ant heads 10 fire ant parts and four pupa leather it gives you blocking strength like the other shields do like the black ant shield and the weevil shield but we now have this shield here and it also gives you block corrosion which i'm assuming is the attack damage type that the fire ants are going to do to you for more locations on the fire ants guys check the channel we're gonna make even more videos on all of that then we now have have the ladybird shield the other one that we have made with ladybird shells lint rope and pupa leather we finally can see that we're getting ladybird shells off of the ladybirds it is a sleek and stylish crafted shield from the jet black shell of a ladybird it gives you blocking strength and block free attack as well which is really really cool now guys i am super excited for all of these weapons i know that you guys are as well there are so many new things that have come to grounded and i can only start to begin to explain how excited I actually am about all of these different weapons. I can't wait to go out and test them all on all the different bugs in the backyard throughout my live streams and videos that are going to be coming out throughout the next couple days. But thank you everybody so much for watching this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. And you guys know that there's going to be a ton more guides that are coming out for, from Sir Simulot on the game of Grounded for Grounded's newest, largest update ever. But thank you guys all so much. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.